Hey guys, hey, it's DT Gaming here. So we're gonna be uh, fishing here in Yama. We're at 146, 141, which is right here, um, E6. I want to try something a little different. I've been told a lot of people telling me that you don't need a leader, and I could see why. The most of the lines are you can use is actually thinner than the fluorocarbon leader. Like for example, it's 1.3, 30, 35 kg line. If you look at the 19, right, this is actually 0 0.5 millimeters, to where this is actually 0 0.3. It's a um, line diameter that you want to worry about versus the the kg. So, oh yeah, right. Uh, we're using this um, Xander uh, spoon here. Using um, large two size hook. And we're just going to cast right straight down. I'm going to be using a speed retrieve of 22. I'm going to point my rod tip down to the water. And I'm just going to do two rotations. This will get jig step to work. Now, realistically, this should actually work just, just the same. As having that 19 kg leader. That's what at least I think in my head. But that's what we're testing out. We're testing to see if we need a leader or we don't. And can we catch a uh, good fish on this setup? Uh, Mazu. So far, so good. Two, two fish, two cast. Because if we can use a uh, heavier line versus a leader, this would give us a much, much better chance catching these Chinooks without much of a fight. And seeing there's no pikes in, on here, nothing that's going to bite your line. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. But we're going to get pair anyways. We'll see how well the bite rate is versus the leader. Oh, nice coho. Almost 3 kg. Alright, let's see if we can get another one here.
Oh, fish. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the, our leader on now. We'll put the 19 KD. See if it actually makes a difference. A small white spot. So, what I'm thinking, right? Seeing this leader is uh 0 0.54 millimeters. Seeing this is actually um 0 0.3. So, what if we take this off and we used this one right here, 0 0.4? This is identical to the um. Four card it's white and it's about the same thickness about 45 kilo uh, kg if we use this I wonder if we get the exact same bite rate it's based on the color I'm thinking So it seems that this line with the 45 kg and this thickness might actually um, slow down the bite rate. But it's kind of hard to tell because right now the sun is it's pretty high so it's noon about so the bite rate does die naturally we'll try one more cast with this this line
it's definitely safe to say that this might be too thick. 0.48 in that liter right here. Again, that this is 0. Point, this is actually more thicker than that. So. Okay, so we'll take that off. We'll change this back down with what we had in the first place, um, which was 36 right here. Oh, 35. The bite rate could be influenced by the time of day right now, and that might be why it's kind of slow all around. The fish are biting, but it's more towards the shore, it seems. So it seems that using heavier line, that 45 kg line, actually did affect the bite rate, even though it was same, uh, 
was actually just under the same thickness of the 19 kg fluorocarbon leader. It was like about 10 millimeters thicker. As I said, I can't really properly test this because it's the time of day. So we all want an easier time on Yama. Because in case we look into one of the dang um, pain in the ass Chinooks, right? If we have a little more muscle or backbone, we can actually fight the fish without worrying it breaking off because he got a 19 kg or 17 kg leader or line. If you can use this 35 kg line, then I think you're pretty good uh, with a trophy chin. But I still wonder about that 45 kg line seeing it is much, much thinner than the leader. So when the bite um, start uh, up again, I'll test it. I mean, the bite rate is pretty consistent on this line alone. So maybe we'll go ahead and throw it back on here after 1500. Jig sip kind of quit right there. Even though I did not dis disrupt the um the pattern. Small Mazu. Okay, let's go ahead and change that line again. 0 0.48. In my mind, this is supposed to work. Because it's still thinner than that leader. But the question is, are we just going to get small fish on this line? Or are we capable of getting bigger fish?
Okay, so far it seems that this line here, even though it's actually thinner than the leader, but for some odd reason, it does not work as good as the leader itself. So if it's not the line or leader, then maybe it's material, if that makes any sense. Alright, let's go back to the leader again, see if that makes a difference, it's just it really does not make a sense. If you're worried about the line thickness, then the leader is thicker. Watch why I get nerfed fish here. Pausing too long. So here's another theory. What if he's a line that's actually the same um, weight as a leader? With the leader, would that affect the bite rate? All right, so let's go ahead and change that 45 uh, meter line here. No, if not, 45 kg lead line. And we're going to change this down to what I have. I don't think I have a. Let's see here. This one is the closest I'm going to get to that lead line. But it's kind of a little bit damaged, like 15.5. But it should be in the same range, though.
Okay, so the buy rate's not bad with this setup, but it seems if you use the the 45 kg line, your buy rate is down. Even though the the line is thinner than the leader, so there's something to that. So if we take this off and we use this other line here, 35. Or we could drop it down to 32 even. That would be a little bit more thinner. It might increase the bite rate. You get a lot of small fish though, doing it this way. We'll stick with this line to see how it goes until it turns to night time. But one thing I learned that braided versus mono, braided actually guides more better across the line guides, which gives you a much better casting distance versus mono. Because mono, you think about it, is actually nothing but plastic. So it kind of doesn't glide over the line guides as well as a braided, because braided is more smoother. And if you actually felt actual mono filament fishing line, it's kind of more thicker for one thing, but it has more of a rougher surface than um than braid, in my opinion.
Maz is like kind of like hit near the surf. I mean, sure. I mean, if you get a bite like right in front of you, chances are it might be a Mazu. So the 32 kg line. I wonder if the color has something to do with it though, right? But I'm not gonna change anything. Right now, this time of day, is usually I call it trophy time because I have caught majority of my trophies on um, tongue and other water bodies are right around 2100. And also my biggest pikes came out of this, this time too. But there's no pikes here, I'm just saying. Twenty one twenty is the time I got my uh, trophy pike on Ober, and around twenty twenty one was the time I got my bunch of trophy browns and a bunch of uh, well I won't say bunch I only caught one pink salmon but that wasn't really daring the um. That was like midday. But I did get my uh, graylings though at night. Well, just before night. This is why I tell people make sure you have your lines in the water in this hour that way you have a chance of hooking one of these bigger fish at this hour Okay, so in conclusion, guys, um, it seems that a leader is really not needed. So go with a, a much heavier braid line. I would say about 35 kg at the most with a 36, um, at least 0 0.36 uh, millimeters thickness. I think you guys will do fine. And it gives you much more at ease if you hook into a chin. I mean, I would like to hook into a chin just so I could test that, but I don't know where they're biting at right now. After 2100, about in a 2200 hour range, the fish kind of like die down. That's when I re recommend to at least um, go sell your fish, go take a break, get something to eat, get something to drink, or a smoke break. Come right back and be back by 415, uh, 450, and do it all over again. Well, that was actually kind of luck.
And it's both teller fish. If you just cut right through um through the woods this way, you should be able to go right directly to the um to the base here. At least close to it. It'd probably been better if you looked at the map and then find up your arrow towards the sound and start running. And it's okay. So, as always, guys, make sure you check the cafe. See if you got anything to offer. And we don't. These or uh, things here. I actually did this before I went to bed, and it's still not available. And I noticed that the price for the chum is kind of dropping. This is not really that. Actually, you know what? That's one point eight kg. I think the larger ones are better. All right. So how do we do? 39 minutes 198 silver You know it could have been better if it wasn't switching back and forth to different lines and tests and stuff out But I would have got more uh, silver for sure and more fish Anyway guys that will be it for the video like the video hit the like button appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys